message and we are going to talk about the OBX segment and the ADT message and the GT1 segments. So let's start with the OBX segments <clears throat> and let's scroll down until we find the one that we have. Okay. And in the ADT message, we have two OBX segments. And you can get even more than that. It depends on what type of information is getting transmitted to your system from the vendor system. So as usual, the OBX segment will start with the name of the segment, which is OBX in the field zero. And then in field one, it will be the sequence of this segment. So it will be one, two, three, four, and so forth. And then in OBX two, it will be the value type, the value that it's been transmitted in this segment, what type it is. In this case, DT stands for date and time. And if we can see in the second segment, TX stands for a text value. Then we have the OBX3, which is the observation identifier. And in this case, we have only one name. It's pre-op date and time, pre-operational date and time. And in the second case, we have observation identifier. It's just a text. This can be broken down into two pieces. Like it could be the procedure ID and the procedure description. Uh, coding schema and so on and so forth. Number four, it's empty, but it's the observation sub ID in case we have more details. Number five, it's the observation value. So for the date and time, this is the observation value for the OBX5. And the second segment, it's the CT abdominal with and without contrast. And with a code the alias. The code here. alias will be different depending on how you configure it in your system and what alias is built. Now we are going to talk about the GT1 segments. The GT1 segment is the guarantor segment. And this one usually gets transmitted. Also, you can see it in uh, multiples. So you can see more than one in the same message. And this contained the guarantor information, which is the person or the organization with a financial responsibility for payment of a patient account. So in case that the patient could not really be able to pay the bill, who, uh, who is the second person responsible for the bill, it will be the person with the information populated in these segments. And as usual, the first segments, it's the GT1, it's the name of the segments. The second is the sequence of the segments, so one, two, three, and so forth, so on. Th uh, number two is the alias of that guarantor. So it can be a long number or it can be just a small letters. It depends on what type of information is configured in your system. Then the GT3, it has the name of the person. Uh, starting with the last name, then first name. And GT4, we have it here empty. It's like guarantor spouse name, but it's usually not required for many systems. GT1, number five, is the address of the person who is the guarantor there, starting with a street address, town, state, zip code. Then the personal phone number, then the work phone number and GT7. So GT6 is personal phone number. GT7 is the work phone number. GT8 is the birth date of that person. GT9 is uh, male or female, the gender. GT10, it's the guarantor type. It depends on your system. So one, it's like spouse or husband. GT11, it is the relationship to the patient. In this case, it's parent. Depends on also the alias that it's identifying your system. 12, it's the guarantor social security number. And in this case, just a letter to say that it's uh, utilized for a different reason. And 13, it's when he start to be a guarantor. 14, when he is gonna stop being the guarantor for that person. 
and this information really from like 9 until uh, 14 it's not really required so it's not so not many systems are transmitting these type of information 15 is the priority he's number one to be contacted if we have multiples he, we will see number two or three or four depending on how many guarantor we will receive and finally number 16 it's what's the name of the employer that this guarantor is working for so this guy Don Smith is working for Walgreen that's all for the OBX segments and the GT1 segment. I hope you enjoy this video and until next time.